Alright, so if you're like me, and you got a car, but you want a bit more oomph in it, but you only got $5 in the bank account, I may have just the solution for you. Alright, so first of all, open your hood. Now, this applies to cars with turbos only. So, what you're gonna wanna do is locate where you have the uh, the wastegate. In my case, it was down here. I've taken it off already. And if you don't know how a wastegate works, it's pretty much uh, this part where there's a hole is connected to can't see is connected to right there you can see that little arm so to say and what that arm does is it sits inside the turbo and when you let off the throttle it opens to uh, allow the air to escape out that route instead of going through the turbo so the way the waste gate works is there's a nipple that you plug this uh, this hose onto, and so when you let off the gas, you close the valve in the. So you close this, you close the throttle, and that means all the air that's in the system can't go through there. So it builds up turb or so it builds up pressure in the system, which then goes back into the turbo. And if you can see this nipple here that is hooked up to this hose so when air is coming out of there it simply goes into this and then in here you have like a small I guess you could say a small piston and so that air comes up here pushes it down and that pulls out this rod I don't know if you can see that happening but yeah it pulls that out and what that does is since that's linked to the arm down there. It then opens it up, lets all the excess, lets all the exhaust gas out. However, in most cars, that little valve that sits in the God, my hands are doing, but the valve that sits in the turbine housing is not fully closed once you're on the throttle and so if you close it all the way you force more air through the turbine instead of going out through the valve and straight into the exhaust so what you can do is take your wastegate and since this hole which is covered since this hole in the rod right right here it's linked to that arm. What you can do is move that hole further up so that way the valve closes more inside the turbine housing. So, you may look at your wastegate like, how am I supposed to move this up? I guess you could saw it off and then weld it back on, but that's not the simplest way, so that's not how we're gonna do it. The simplest way is you have two holes for the bolts that mount it to the turbo. Um, so what you're essentially going to do is move the whole wastegate back. Now, the easiest way to do that is with, with some washers. So just install the washers behind the wastegate. Therefore, it will be moved up a bit. So these are about two and a half millimeters thick, and that's gonna do for me since I'm gonna get a chip later. So once I do get the chip, I will have more gas going into the engine. Therefore, I can have more air. But then I'm gonna get another waste gate, which is adjustable. However, if you wanted to, if you wanted to. Uh, increase the amount of air going into the engine by a lot you could always just just increase the fuel pressure 
so therefore you have more fuel going into the engine as well. So to install this on my car, it's very simple. Just hook, or just put the arm through the hole, and then uh, take two bolts and put them through the holes with the washer behind. So let me do that off camera, then I'll show you after. All right, so as you can see, the wastegate's reinstalled with, uh, I don't know how well you can see, the washer behind there, and you can't really see there, but washer there. All right, so that's probably given me about 30 extra horsepower, I would guess. Uh, so yeah, a very simple mod that you can do at home whenever you like. If you have a pair of sockets, some wrenches, something like that. Very simple to do, uh, doesn't take a lot of time. Wasn't all that hard to get the uh, to get the wastegate reinstalled. So yeah, a very simple mod that gives you a few extra ponies. So definitely try that out if you're if you want to improve your horsepower by just a bit. And I mean, this is not something that's gonna blow the engine or anything like that. So should be good on that part. But anyways, I hope you guys learned something and. Subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.